The following presentation covers a topic that relates to killing and violent acts. The scenes expressed here might be harmful to those with sensitivity. The focus point for the subtopic. The research question lies in the causality of both genocide with reference to East Timor and Rwanda. This research aims to raise historical consciousness, <clears throat> which is the understanding of temporality of historical experience. That is the how past are thought to be for the sake of producing historical knowledge. It also goes into the historical context which refers to the moods, attitudes, conditions, perspectives that existed in a certain time and aims to change the perspectives and to change the viewpoint. This research question subtopic is how did the genocide occur in Rwanda which is based in East Central Africa. Not only East Central Africa, but it is in the borders of Uganda and also East Timor, which is located southeast of Asia on the southmost north. These are some of the scenes that had occurred and the people looking endangered due to the causes and events that took place during the one then inhuman treatment, the genocide. This was only contextualized in terms of the Rwandan tribes being fighting against one another. The, the least dominant part being the Tutsis going on to war with the majority of the population, people that make the majority of their populations. This is another image by Tupel, which was posted in 2018, that shows the reaction of how kids felt or how low they were at the time. Each and every writing has an essential quality. This writing's essential quality is the exploration of the social, economical, and political aspects, which led to the genocide. The methodology that we're going to use is recontextualization of Rwandan genocide commentary. And then for each tomorrow we're going to de decontextualize how events occurred that time. The aim of this research is to get rid of dominant narratives this research will use a comparative method. Each case we use qualitative and quantitative approach. In this regard, we use numbers and previous, previous cases that had a similar version and then compare for each case how the genocide occurred. This aims to broaden the comprehension of Rwanda and East Timor. This research intends to realize the approach by making use of case-oriented behavior and also making use of secondary data due to the fact that some of the victims could not make it and the data that we have is only from secondary sources. The research aims to check the extent each case can stretch and compares both cases with one another. Genocide across time with aim to broaden understanding social processes, 
few cases can compare to the 1974 Ishtimar and 1994 Rwanda. This makes them outstanding to explore. This is the final say. Thank you.